Man, Jay, I got the fade outs and everything. What's good, everybody? Thanks for coming through. <laughs> mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. Can I get a mic check from my people in the chat? I don't know, I've been messing up lately, so I got to make sure y'all can hear me before we start rolling. What's good? What's good, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy day off to a lot of people. Happy ho holly, holy days, whatever y'all call them. You know, time for giving, giving and receiving, if you're lucky. Let's see who in the building. Uh, shout out to Audie Boy, always coming through. I appreciate you, my guy. The beautiful Miss Nurse Fancy is in the building. Consuelo, how you doing? Happy Friday. Daryl Long, what's good, young guy? Bobby M. Is that K and the Sedai? And the Sedai. Man, we're going to talk about it today, man. Friday, something that's been on my mind a little bit all this week. But while we're waiting for that, y'all know how we do. Let's do some housekeeping. Uh, first and foremost, make sure you guys subscribe to the Lapeef Network, the greatest network on YouTube. If you're looking at your uh, device, whether that's an iPhone or Android device, a Chromebook screen, MacBook screen, laptop, or computer screen, or even your television set now if you're looking down under this video and that subscribe button is red you got a problem joe hit that subscribe button subscribe to the greatest network on youtube and on the planet the lapeef network also make sure y'all give it up for our sponsor that is teach handley feel the teach click the link in the description uh if you click that link you will get the greatest skincare on the planet and get 30% off your first box plus a free gift with your first order when you use that link. So make sure you feel the teach. Men, get your skincare in order. Click on the link. You will not regret it. Also, while we appreciate the thanks, the likes, and the super chats, you can also give by supporting on the network at Cash App. Uh, that will go directly to the network. That is dollar sign Lapeef. Let's talk on Cash App. Also follow the Lapeef Network on Instagram at Lapeef Network. And again, shout out to the chat. <laughs> y'all made it through another week. I'm glad y'all are here. Teresa in the building. How you doing, sis? Mr. Steels, happy ho holidays to you. Happy holy days to you, man. Uh. <sighs> Let's get it going, man. Let's start it early, man. Y'all know who it is. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... It's your favorite YouTuber, favorite YouTuber coming back at y'all. One more again. Shout out to the Green Gang. Shout out to everybody in the building. Hope y'all had a pleasant Thanksgiving. I know I did, right? I still feel like I'm full. I think the, bat, the toilet action is going to be stupendous later on tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure you take a shower after you get a stinky butt is all I'm saying. Right, you at home, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta work today. How you get fired on your day off? All right. Um, I'm not a real big fan of the holidays, right? Um, I do it mostly for the family and friends and stuff. My wife is a mean when she cooked up a great dinner. We got family over, so it's all a good time. It's all a good time, right? Um, the link is in the description. Uh we will be going to the link uh later on today. But first I let me get my synopsis out for y'all. Uh I've been observing some things here on these YouTube streets. Um, and in a microcosm, right? I'm just going to say this. I don't know, <laughs> Bobby, you know, I'm just saying, bro, right? Um, and I don't know if you part of my, if you, I don't know if you guys subscribe to my channel, but do a search. You can definitely do a search for Ricky Williams, pound sign TWT on YouTube. I do have a channel over there, independent of the Lee Peef network. Um, I do have a running uh, show called the truck Chronicles. I try to get that done daily where I'm riding back and forth to work, getting it done. And we are just talking about stuff that we see that we hear that I see that we hear that uh, I think maybe people are not uh, covering in different angles, you know, in my perspective. What's good, Dario. How you doing, my guy? Um, but looking at looking at these spaces, right? And I'm 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 
I'm especially going to talk about the manosphere day, right? Uh, the the key word being man, man owes fear, the man sphere of men, right? Sphere of men. <clears throat> Pat Jack, what's good with you, my guy? Everything good, nephew? I see you. I see you. Make sure y'all smash that like button. It do not cost you nothing. Uh, help us break the algorithm. All right. Make sure y'all help us break this algorithm, get these uh, eyes that need to be seen, the eyes that need to see this stuff, um, get us to a wider audience. I do appreciate y'all, and I do appreciate y'all's work with y'all. Please share the video, like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the network, right? Shout out to the Green Gang in the building, Dario, my boy D, Fishing and Fish Fit, and everybody else who uh, subscribed to the network. Miss Nurse Fancy, of course. I got you, Nate. Give me a second. I'll put it in a, I don't know why it's so hard to find, but that's YouTube for you. Being blacklisted. Nate, here you go. There you go, Nate. It's right there. So, the manosphere, manosphere, the sphere of men, manosphere, sphere of men. Uh, how I've been looking at it, I'm not going to say how I've been looking at it, how, how I'm seeing it lately, right? Hey, Kelly, how you doing, Sissy Pooh? Shout out to my sis Kelly Convos in the building, right? She also has a great show on Lapeep called Bridging the Gap. Make sure y'all check her out weekly. Kelly Convos in the building. What's good, Buck? Say hello to the beautiful wife for me, man. My boy Buck Moore always coming through. Appreciate you, Nay. Look, ladies, uh, and I'm 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 gonna explain this. What's good, Dub? Well, I see you, man. There we go, Scrap Skrilla. There we go, Scrap Skrilla. Right now, you do everything through that LLC. You feel me, my guy? You do everything through that LLC. Bills, car, everything. You do everything through that. I appreciate you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Green Gang in the building. Green Gang in the building. What's good, Stefan? And I'm going to cover this because I know a lot of y'all are not uh, subscribed to my channel. So I did cover this. I think it was last week. It was either this week or last week over on Truck Chronicles. So I'm going to start off with that. It's on blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with. There we go. Don't come, don't come knocking when the camera's rocking. Um, gentlemen, I think it's to the point where we need to acknowledge something amongst ourselves. Thank you, Flo with Joe. I think it's come, it's at the time, I think it's past the time that we need to acknowledge some things amongst ourselves. Our women are messed up, bro. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. Our women do have issues. They have trauma issues. They move in survival. Most of them are in survival mode. They don't have uh, men teaching them the ways of the Wu-Tang, as I like to say, not giving them any isms, basically not teaching them how to move with men. It, their mothers are teaching them how to live in survival mode. Not only that, right? Not only that, the mainstream media, which everybody wants to blame on and play, uh, pay, uh, take participation in, you know, the mainstream medium has a bunch of messages going out to the to our women, the black woman, right? Not just today, but from, you know, days past, you know, everybody want to bring up the the for color girls movie and why did I get married and uh color purple and all these things, right? All this information, all these things, not only that, right? If we go back past that, we can talk about, you know, the seventies and eighties where, you know, uh, men were making babies in other places and had two families across the street and women are traumatized by that. KP from KC was good. Shout out to you, bro. How you doing, man? Um, 
right? And what happens is this, right? As young men, we grow up getting one or two messages. And, they, and the problem is to me, we don't really get a, in, a, in the middle of the road message, right? We get the extremes, right? Either she's a, right? She's a hoe or she's a housewife, right? There's good women and bad women and normal women don't apply, right? We get all these messages as young men. And we know these things about our women, but I'm going to break it down to y'all. The truth of the matter is, fellas, I need y'all to listen, fellas. Did you hear what I said? These very women that we criticize, that we're able to crit critique and point out their flaws, those are your mothers. Those are your grandmothers, your auntie. And if we're, if we're telling the truth, gentlemen, these are the women who raised you and gave you your mindsets. These are the women who taught you. I'm not going to even say taught because they really didn't know. Don't, no one really understands what it means to teach anyone. Right. What they did is they set examples for you on how to move, how to think, how to react. And these very women that you guys critique today with the same traits and traditions are your mothers. And the truth is, fellas, even though y'all want to keep trying to say, hey, men take care of their father, that for men, these, men, these, men, these men are good fathers, right? That they're taking care of their children. But we know that's a lie in most cases. In most cases, whether the father stepped away or the, the mother pushed him away, we can, honest, who can, who cannot honestly say in this chat that, especially in my, my age, you know, in my age and demographic, you know, 73 to about 85, especially to about the 90s babies, that fathers were not included in their sons and daughters' lives. So men of the manosphere, they get up here and they cry and they complain just like the women do. No, no, no solutions, no moving forward, no building, crying and complaining. And every week we come back to the same talking points with the same people, voices, the same things with no results. Shout out to Humble Dad. Shout out to Humble Dad if you're watching this. Right. That man is not playing no games. He is not playing any games. He lost his wife in a tragic way. He healed himself, recovered, and he knew he wanted to have a wife. And how long did it take him? What's good, BZ? How long did it take him? What's good, Mike? Right? But <laughs> it's crazy how people love to listen to people who don't have the results they're looking for. It's, it's just amazing. And the truth is, and this is where I lead to this, right? Do men really want to lead or do they want to complain? Do, do men want a 50-50 say or do they want to lead? Because 50-50 does not imply that you're a leader, good sir. 50-50 implies that that's a partnership and an agreement. There's no room for a leader in that type of situation.
And let me explain to you guys. As a leader, at the end of the day, you make the, first, the, the final decisions. So let me explain what that means, that even when you made a bad choice, you have control over that choice at the end of the day. So my question to the gentlemen that say that are complaining and whining about the women and the way these women move, why do you choose to deal with them? Is that your leadership? Is it that there's so many women out here that, and again, scratch that. What is it that you're lacking that you can't find a woman to lead? Did you hear what I said? Because what I'm starting to peep that even though they make these crazy roundabout arguments, these women in on these panels and discussion as a whole really tell you that they don't want to lead and that they're not capable of it. And the reason why I say that is because the excuses they use is, well, you did it. I'm so afraid the what ifs override the what is the what are's right. So gentlemen, not even saying that you should be dealing with that type of woman. That's first and foremost. Right. But if you are in these type of situations where a woman may have been hurt or put herself through some trauma, right? What things are you doing as a man in action? that you can even say and stand on with 10 toes down and to say, hey, this is not what I'm doing. Like I said before, y'all y'all don't want baby mamas, but y'all make baby mamas, right? Y'all don't want to pay child support, but then y'all just leave your families, right? At the end of the day, guys, this is about being responsible, being responsible with your with your choices, being responsible with your penis, being responsible with the woman you choose. Why are you not leading? Why are you not setting a standard that you can even hold a woman to? Did you hear what I said? Because leaders, look, when you're in the leader, leader, leadership position, you understand that not every decision you're going to make is going to be the right one, right? Because what happens, what happens, things change, the uh, times change, the variables change. So something that was right today might not be right tomorrow. So what do you do? Do you complain about it or do you make the appropriate adjustments to get the results you require? Do you continue to blame someone else for it? Or do you take ownership of the parts you played in it and you move on and again, make the appropriate adjustments? But again, in these spaces, I'm constantly hearing, I had this, this ex I was dealing with. I had this ex I was dealing with. It was this one woman I did that I was with. This one woman I did. So obviously you didn't make the appropriate corrections because you keep running into the same type of women that give you the same type of problems. And I'm, I'm, I, I can't keep giving y'all the argument that it's all these women out here. No, it's not the same way. It's not all these men are out here. No one is a monolith, but again, you guys aren't willing to put in the work in you and the leadership to even get to a woman that's worthy, right? To even get to a woman that's worthy. And better yet, a woman that's worthy of you. The women that's worthy of you are the women you get. The women that understand the way you move are the ones you get because if they're able to take advantage of you, those are the type of woman you're worth.
If they're ever running, if they're able to run game on you and they're smarter than you, then you're not smart enough to have a smart woman. And if you're with those women, right, if you with a woman like that, that feels that way about you, you made a wrong decision. And it's, it's not her fault for being what she is. It's your fault for liking what she is, for dealing with a woman like that. You should be cutting your losses and moving on from the gate, especially if you say you have standards. But that let me know you don't have standards because you're still with her. Did you hear what I said? That let me know your standards ain't real because you keep running into the same ones. Did you hear what I said? Men, we have to change the way we think. You have to break your program. And these same women, the ones y'all look and critique and point fingers at, those are your mothers. They are the ones that raised you. And what do you guys do? You come out and you complain and you bitch just like the women do. You don't make the appropriate changes. You don't work on yourself. You don't make the appropriate uh, change. You don't uh, uh, set standards. You sit and you complain and you blame and you and you and you fucking what's the word they be saying? You gaslight and you you move the goddamn goalposts instead of just fixing you. Do you want to be a leader or not? Or do you want to continue to make excuses? Do you want to continue to put it on the very women who tell y'all in these spaces? The reason I act like this is because y'all act like this. And I know what they're going to say. I know what they're about to say. Well, Rick. A woman going to do what she going to do. Facts. That's why you do what you going to do. That's why you move in honor and correct. So when she moves funny, you do what? When she ain't on the program and you on yours, what you supposed to do? Cry and complain? Or make the appropriate adjustments? Do you handle her or you leave her alone? Because as a man, if you was on point, every woman sees that. And losing one ain't going to stop you from getting another one. The doors of the church are open. We got. Hold on. Let me. Let, hey, y'all, hold on. Let me pay these bills and then I, I'll bring y'all up. Okay, bear with guys. Adonis, he said, if I have to fight to be heard like the road running meat, meat, I'm out. It's simple. BZ said, if you're a late leader, hit the like button. And Eugene, what's up with you, man? Thanks a lot. He said, if a man wants to lead a relationship, he has to find a woman who wants to be led. That comes from careful bet vetting. If a woman does not want to be led, don't waste your time and breath. What's good, E-Dub? We got my boy, Wolf. Mr. Yeah. Ricky, what's up, King? How you doing? Peace to you, God. Happy, happy holidays to you, man. And we have the beautiful, beautiful balance and codes. How you doing, sis? What's up with you, Liam? Hey, good to see you guys. Hey, hey we gonna, we gonna chop it up. What you got? We gonna let Wolf Stat go first, and then we'll walk, walk around the room. What you got on it, man? Are men afraid to lead? Do they want to be leaders, bro? You know what I've noticed? A lot of us lead in everyday life, in our cliques, in our brotherhoods, in our friendships, at jobs. But when we come home to our modern day women, speaking of specifically about our black women, yes, in the beginning they do let you leave. Babe, what do you want to eat tonight? Babe, what you want to what you want to put on for, for this ball or that gal or whatever, whatever, just using that as examples, right? But after a while, when the newness wears off, the person that we thought we were with, and it happened with women as well, but I'm talking we to my men right now. When a man's with a woman, and she's not who she truly portrays herself to be, it eventually will show. In the beginning, I want a man, I want to follow him, I want to be led by him, but after a while, that ratchet shit comes out. You're not gonna tell me what to do, you ain't my daddy. My daddy ain't tell me what the fuck to do, I do what I want to do. Hold up. 
This not all you was in the beginning. You was not this woman. You was letting me lead. I was paying the bills. You was doing this. You was doing that. You was helping me around the house. We was a unit. We was a family. But I realize in today's times that women, a lot of women, not all, they see a man as a as a toy, like a child sees it, like a child sees a toy. I'm gonna play with you for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I'm gonna put you down, find another toy to play with. Okay. I miss the days where we as a unit, as a home, was you know what? I can't find nothing better than you. You're loyal, I'm loyal. We got a, we got kids, we got a house we need to build right now. Okay. I'm not looking for nothing outside of you. But that's that's me. That's how I'm thinking. Okay, but that that ain't the question, right? Again, you kind of went on a crying rant, and I could care less about that shit. <laughs> we know we know our women are messed up. Some of our men are look, let's stop, let's stop getting on a hamster wheel, bro. I'm asking a question. Do men want to lead from your experience, from the examples you see in the real world and in these spaces? Do they or do they want to cry and complain? This ain't about the woman right now, right? Because it don't matter what woman she is. If you're a leader, you're gonna you're gonna ace her or replace her. So you want to try the question again? I, I answered the question as I, how I should answer the question. If you're a leader, it takes a good follower to follow you. Okay. So if you're not a good follower, how can you know how to follow a leader if you're not a good follower? So what a do you follow do you how to follow? You got to leave them alone. But if that's all you have to your disposal, let's say I walk outside right now, right? I'm looking for women that I, I'm looking for a specific type of woman, right? In the day and age we are in today, it's hard to find a woman that wants to follow a man because they're trying to be a man. I, 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 so don't I can that. say, so I can say, listen, I have all these ways to get us from point A in life to point Z in life. I got a good financial structure for us. I have a good plan for us. And the female might tell me, which I can walk outside and get right now. I don't need to follow you. I'm, 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 I'm good where I'm at right now. Okay. So wh why are you complaining about them? Because that's the majority what I'm around, what I see. Are, are you looking I live in New York? Are you looking for one woman? Say again. I'm sorry. Say again. Are you looking for the majority or are you looking for one woman? I'm looking for one. But if the one I'm trying to find is not the majority, oh. what can I do about that? Hold on. Hold on. Right. What's what's the rule of business? Right. You can get a million L's. You're looking for one W, correct? Absolutely. Right. So why are you complaining about the L's? Because in life, right, let's just say I'm a regular dude. Let me give you an analogy. I'm playing against the Monstars. I walk outside my house. Every basketball court I go to, they are 90 foot tall giants, monsters. I'm fighting against a battle where I can't win. Now, put me back in 19... From 1960 to 1987 to 99, the, the, the fights I had, the monsters I had to fight weren't as big. So I could I could back a monster down in the paint and I could dunk on them. But now today, the monsters are way bigger. Talking about the women that you got to deal with today are way different. They're way more disagreeable. They don't want to listen all the time. And the ones that do want to listen, do want to hear a man, their standards are way, way, way too high. And my, these are my opinions. These are not facts. These are my opinions. And again, I ask the question, if that's not the woman you're looking for, why are you complaining about her? If that's all that you're around, why what can you, you do about it? Why are you just all around them? No, I'm saying this walking. My average normal everyday life. I travel. I go to work and all five boroughs in New York, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I see 90% of the time. I see colorful hair, loud talking. Right. I don't, I can't spot, right. oh, she's a good woman. She's going to be, she's going to let me lead her. She's going to follow me. She's going to be a good wife, a good mother. I can't, I don't spot that from my naked eye. I don't see that, to be Why? honest. Why not? You want the honest truth for me to tell you to lie? You can lie all you want. You lie to yourself now, but I digress. No, 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 no. I'm not lying. The honest truth is that from what I've seen growing up, there was a lot of women 
Yes, there were a lot of ain't shit ass men. Yes, we know that. Yes, there was a lot of fathers not around. Yes. But there was a lot of women that also kept the father out the home. Agreed. I don't need I don't I don't need you here. I prefer your money though. I'm mad at you. We didn't work out. Whatever you cheated, I cheated. It didn't work out. I don't want you around our kids. It could be the best man in the world. I don't want you around my kids. So now a little girl's growing up with just a mother that's angry and bitter at whatever for at whatever reason. It could have been her mother, the man she dealt with that had that baby with. It could have been that. Who knows? But a bitter woman raises another bitter woman. Facts. So it's like a terrible cycle. Facts. So why are you contributing to the cycle? Oh no, I'm not. Okay. My daughter's my so daughter's too. Correct. Say again, I'm sorry. Say again, Mr. Ricky. So you, so you have no complaints? I have complaints. Yes. About I wish things were different. I wish things were different. Things would be different if you chose the right woman. You think men gonna stop having sex with women? That's not my problem. That's that's that man's problem. The, the, reason, the reason why people people go through the things you go through right now with beta baby mamas is because men don't exhibit no control. You can't you can't you can't fix you can't fix a bucking horse that never wants to be trained. You could try you could try the best you can. Why are you dealing with a horse that needs to be trained? There's hundreds of millions of them. Okay. You, can, it's, it's, you go it's, to any state you want to. Not. What you got on the Elam? Hey, happy holidays. Can y'all hear me okay? Yeah, you sound good, bro. Happy holidays to you. Okay. So men, they don't want to leave from my experience. Uh, being in the military and everything, majority of men, they shy away from leadership roles from when I was in. I went in in 2003 in the military, so, and they don't shy away, they just don't want to do it. And there's a lot of, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of patience you need. And to gain that experience on know, knowing when to have the adaptability piece, when to move, when you move different, you know what I'm saying? You got to know when to, when to adjust fire at that time, at, at, at the drop of a hat, you gotta hurry up. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hurry up and just fire and then stop it. Time doesn't stop for no one. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like, as far as like women is not the women's fault, it's the men's fault. It's not the women's fault at all. Women are, have been the same since, since I've been alive. So since I've been, you know, into women or whatever, and it's just that if she's not willing to get on your program, that's not the woman for you. If she's not willing to put and 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 be up, be be, uh, she has to first like you. She gotta like you first. You know what I'm saying? She has to like you. So, like you more than you like her, pretty much. And you gotta have those leadership skills and leadership qualities and that patience, man, to 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 deal with a woman, to deal with a woman, and you know how to move with them. You gotta have the the requirements necessary to take care of her, financial uh physical emotional all of that shit even though you know sometimes you got to be abrasive sometimes I mean, and tell them straight down put down your foot put lay down the law sometimes you know f that you know what i'm saying doing that you know and i've been married 17 years you know what i'm saying and you just you have to have those those soft skills and the those type of leadership qualities man and and for what I'm seeing right now, nah, most people just want to be told what to do, especially men. Oh, and I got another one at the end, too. Uh, all women want to be dominated by a man, a masculine man. All women do. Yeah. Uh, Mike, shout out to Mike. He said 90% of these chicks ain't marriage minded as well. I understand that, Mike. You already know how I feel about this. Why are you dealing with 95% of them? You see what I'm saying? Like, let, let, let me explain, right? Let me explain, since everybody we think will be off the rail, right? There's millions of women that's marriage material. 
there's a million of women who who were raised, and I ain't going to even say just raised, but taught themselves, broke the mold, right, that they were in and realized, hey, this is what I this is what I want. I want a family. I want children. But let me explain to you. Right. These women will cost you something. They're not free. You is not that much of that guy. You have to be a leader. You have to have discipline. You have to be sound and sturdy in your judgments. So if you can't find that woman, what are your qualifications? What is your standards? What are you presenting to the world? Yeah, they got bright pink hair and red. Why are you talking to them? She look a certain way. She getting booty shots and all this shit. You know that woman come with a something mindset. Why are you hollering? Do y'all understand? And this is what's crazy to me because y'all say y'all know women, but y'all don't. Do you un have to understand the mental mindset of, of a woman to be looking back at her booty saying, I need to get my booty fixed? That the tits God gave me ain't good enough? They broken. Right. So my question again is this, guys, if you check every single box, your money straight. Look, I keep trying to tell you, I'm the most average guy I know. I'm the most average guy I know. Now, while my, my woman might not be the woman you would want to be with, my woman checks every box that you guys want. Traditional cooks, cleans, raise children beautifully emotionally available, rubs my head. So if you check all the boxes, what's the problem? But I tell you what the problem is, right? Just like my brother said, you think a man ain't going to be out here fucking these bitches? I mean, I got to get mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if she ain't, even if I don't see her being the mother of my child, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all, y'all, y'all don't realize, like I told y'all before, Sir Hell speaks in the building, my brother, make sure y'all subscribe. Right. And what y'all don't understand as men is that the gray area is where the lies play at. That's where the mistakes happen. That's the danger zone. It's not gray, it's yellow and black. You feel me? And no matter what y'all say at the end of the day, Mike, especially Mike, fuck you, Mike. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but especially Mike for fighting me back on this shit. You choose that woman at the end of the day, whether she give you pussy ahead or she good in bed. Until you say this is what we are, it ain't shit. And these women are telling y'all they can't even make the appropriate decision unless they see you as an example. Well, if a man can get money, I might as well get money. Well, if a man can get a million bodies, I can get a million, a million bodies. They telling y'all they're not capable of, of, of leadership and or change until you do it. Now, anybody want to argue that? I, I ain't, I ain't got to argue, but we can have a soliloquy about it. No, it's not. I know, I know. This, this is just argument is a discussion. You see what I'm saying? I know, I, I know, Mr. Ricky. I know, I know. Chill out. I know, I know, I know. We so, going, we going I'm, to balance code. Where you at with it, sis? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm right, bro. Ricky, thank you for having this conversation today because I am so sick of these men who get podcasts, they get on social media, and all they do, wait, all they do is complain about women and they complain about the women they do not want. At the end of the day, like we see these women, we know they exist. There are a bunch of men that I'm not attracted to that I would never date. They're in the same category with these men. Okay, undateable people. I would not make a video about them. I could care less what they're doing, how they live their lives. Why would I waste my time talking about them? And guys will sit here and complain about these women we're here the rest of us are still here and a lot of men don't understand that women like us we're turned off by that we're not attracted to you bashing women that you don't want to be with to me that that's showing that you're not really mentally sound because you're wasting your time time is money you're wasting your time talking about what you don't want 
we could be building something. We could be building a business. <laughs> You're talking about them. I don't even, I'm not even following these women on social media. I'm not talking about them. Why are you? Your, your time should be even more valuable. Like, what are we doing? So it really, it really bothers me that men spend so much time and energy on what they don't want. Anything you give your time and energy to, it grows. So you're going to see more of it. The more you complain about it, the more you're going to see it. The more it's going to appear in your world. So I'm not understanding why you guys do that. It's really odd to me, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. So, I mean, you can sit and talk about women that have uh, booty pictures and blonde hair and, and pink hair with wigs. Okay, but then you have women like me. You're not seeing that on our social media. You're not. We're here. I don't see you guys making videos about us. And then also what you're doing, your content is not attracting us. It's repelling us. We're not attract. Like I went out with a man a few years ago, the entire time, all he did was talk about black women in a negative way. <laughs> and all he did was talk about how much black women have changed since the 1970s. And even though he made valid points, what does that have to do with him getting to know me? nothing like it's not it's not attractive we don't like it and it's it's not getting you to your goal it's not getting you what you want and it's a waste of time and energy the men that i don't want that i that i don't want around me you're not going to hear me talking about them if i don't agree with their logic and the way they live their lives i'm not making videos about it i don't care <laughs> like it's way too much people out here so stop focusing on the majority is really what I could tell you guys, because yes, we could say the same thing. The majority of men aren't the healthiest and want to be in marriage minded and want to be in relationships. We could say the same thing. I'm not focused on those men. All I need is one. So the, re the I don't know why you guys don't see it the same way. I really don't. But but that's why I'm here. You know, I love I love this channel because and thank you, Ricky, because you you ride for us and you're always real, logical, honest, and you tell the truth. So I'm I'm here for the conversation. I just wanted to add that. And 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 this is what I'm all, and look, fellas, I'm not I'm, what I'm saying is that I'm not even saying that your diagnosis is incorrect, right? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is is if you're leading, bro, all you're worried about is the results. I could give a fuck about I can give a fuck about these other ladies that's not doing what they're supposed to do, but. It's funny and weird to me how men that say they don't want these women keep complaining about situations y'all go through with these women. Did you hear what I said? They're not the woman you want, but you keep going through the situations with these women. Did you hear what I said? We got to get the one W. One one bro and if it takes you time effort then that's what you got to do right you want something I, I said this when i first a good person is going to cost you something a good person that's about their business has standards they have rules of engagement so lesson at hold on Sorry, guys, I got a house full of people. It's, it's like, and here's the message, fellas, right? If you can't get to that in your vet and stay, she's not the one. If you're not getting the results, if she's not presenting to herself as a wife from day one, she's not the one. Why are we wasting it? Why are you wasting your time? Right? But again, if it's, if you trying to lead to situations and I'm talking about in all things, just not in your household, I'm talking about as a man about your business, you make the appropriate decisions at the right time. Not when it's comfortable for you. Not after you use that lady up and then you figure she wasn't the one. No, she's not the one for you from, but y'all know this. Cause like, yeah, like y'all supposed to have game or whatever, right? Y'all supposed to have the isms. Right. So why as men do we keep complaining about situations we put in ourselves in with women we know we don't want? That's my question, fellas. It's it's not that we doing that. What it is is that, like I said earlier, when you're dealing with someone putting up a facade, you don't know it's a facade. And so the honeymoon phase wear off. 
Me as a man, I can say when the honeymoon phase wear off and shit getting kind of stale or old, I'm the same man every day. I'm a work, provide, protect, love, care upon, rub feet, rub toe. I do not change. But there we are living in a place where men and women do not want to be alone. And women or men decided to they make up a facade of a person that they think you want. That's why I decided to when I'm going to dating from now on. I don't tell a female what I want in a woman because I need her to show those things without me saying it. I feel like when you give somebody a picture of a person, mentally they make that person up in their mind and they show you that person that they made up. I'm a wife. I cook. I clean. I'm not a cheater. I'm loyal. I'm respectable. I'm going to hold you down. Now, mind you, this is the person that you, you gave them in during conversation. So they give you this person. And you, now you're going to love this person, care for that woman. You're like, damn, she's the best thing smoking right now. And then, like I said, after a while, people show their ass. She's no longer that person. Now, she got a wig on. She got eyelashes. You can ask in the beginning, where the fuck this come from? That's all I'm trying to say is that we do get tricked. When you with somebody long enough, you will grow emotions for that person. It just, it's just going to happen. What you got, Elam? <laughs> he said the wigs and the lights. <laughs> hey. Uh, the question was, uh, what was the question again for the women? What for the men? Yeah, if these are not the women we want, why do we keep dealing with them? Oh man, <laughs> that's easy. They, I mean, it's a it's a constant. Uh, they, I mean, just want to smash. You know what I'm saying? Like smash. And you keep that, so you don't want to lose that that smashing ability. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want to lose that. I mean, it's jacked up, but hey, it's it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you you gotta you gotta man, bro. And as far as the honeymoon phase, I think that's a lie. Because I I I'll give you an example. All right, I've been married 17 years, dog, and I still want to smash my wife, like. As if we were, like, you know, seventeen again. You know, what I'm saying I, I, I don't know what that is. I think it's a physical attraction thing, and 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 if a woman fall out of that, or if the man fall out of that, the the one of the parties aren't as attractive as they were before. You know, what I'm saying that's how that's how you lose that. Uh, but yeah, man, it's just that. It both both parties had that scarcity mindset. Oh, he may leave, or he he may not like me no more. Or stuff like that, man. But that's that's all I have, man. Did I answer the question correctly or what? You can answer it however you want, bro. It's your opinion. Balance and codes, what do you think? I yeah. think men, I appreciate him saying that because I think men really do need to take accountability for their choices and why you're choosing these women. Because what that's what men are doing. They're thinking below the belt. They're not using common sense. Because if you did, there's no way you would choose a woman like that. It really isn't. And then blame it on a woman that you chose. And then, like, and these men are saying they're leaders. I wouldn't want you to lead me if that's how you judge. That's your judgment. That's the woman you chose to have children with. That's your judgment. And then you're saying now, now you're a good leader and you can lead me in my household. And I don't even have any children. Let me, let me start there. <laughs> but then like, the, okay. If we are the women that men say they desire, you're not even proving yourself as a leader for us. We want to submit. We want a man to lead. But look at the women you're choosing. We can't trust your judgment. We don't, we don't desire you because of your lack of judgment, not because we don't want to submit. We're not going to submit to something that doesn't make sense. So people need to learn the difference. It's a huge difference. Right. It, in the same way, you shouldn't be giving up your leadership and your provision and resources to a woman it doesn't make sense with. Right. But like I said, y'all don't take the time. You don't take the time. A answer me this. By a uh, show of ones in the chat. How many of y'all had y'all pops around men, men only? How many had y'all pops around? I'll show us a one in the chat. Yes, if you did have your pop around, press one. If you didn't have your pop, press two.
right? So again, to to uh, I need y'all to listen to me, right? I need y'all to listen to me, right? Was your mother the ones who didn't have a father around, or um, I ain't gonna even say father? I'm gonna say a male role model because I really didn't have a father. I had male role models, right? Was your mother toxic? My mother was toxic. I don't have to lie. I'm just waiting on the chat. Thank you, Evan Moore. And 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 I asked this question for a reason, right? I asked this question for a reason, right? But the truth of the matter is, y'all don't see y'all don't see y'all mama as toxic because y'all think just like her. Did you hear what I said? Say that. Say that. Oh, I... The reason why y'all don't see her as toxic because y'all think just like your mama. And what y'all don't understand. What y'all don't understand again, you are what you 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 what you think you are. And y'all wonder why y'all can't see the signs, right? Because the same thing y'all do is the same thing your mama did. Oh, I give him another chance, even though he ain't shit. He didn't stole the baby's Christmas money and took the tree and all this shit, right? But I'm gonna give him another shot. Maybe this just a the honeymoon phase is over. Right? Y'all think like females. And the, the crazy part is it's not even positive reinforcing females. It's toxic. It's toxic. You can't see shit when you in it. And that's how I know y'all ain't did the work because a lot of y'all still be in it. Wait a minute now. So you don't so you don't think that there's men. OK, I, OK, I will say that as a man, like I said in the chat earlier, like a little while ago. I live with both my mom and my dad separately. I live with her. I live with them together at first. He moved out. I live with her. Then I live with my dad in my grandma house with, with my pops. Mm -hmm. the, it was literally night and day, like literally night and day. And I shook my head to agree with her. Like my mom was very toxic. I'm like, how the fuck did he do her for so goddamn long? She's loud, obnoxious. She don't listen to nothing you say. Whatever you say, going one day out the other. Okay, so. It wasn't that what my mother taught me. That's how I was doing with other women. I saw myself in my father's shoes. Living with him, I'm like, damn, like, I'm so, I, I did it unconsciously, though. I saw women like my mother that was going through shit with her mama. She was doing her dirty and beating her ass for a little stupid corny shit. I'm like, damn, like, how the fuck did I get just like my dad? So my scenario is different. I'm sure there's other men just like me. We saw our dad in a place where he probably shouldn't have been with a woman that was broken. Like, damn, because as a man, your natural thought is to try to fix what you see that's broken. And sometimes we fall, we fuck up doing a bad, stupid thing. Some things that are broken cannot be fixed, Thanks. especially mentally wise. So, yes, I'm hurt by it. It fucked me up. But it's like I did the best I could. And I feel like when I did try to run and leave. The first thing you hear, anybody say, tell me if I'm lying, you're going to leave like the rest of the niggas left me yep. by myself. You don't care about me. I'm sure like, is. we got kids. So I don't want to leave around on my kids, but it's like, you toxic as fuck. Right. But, but like I said, the reason why you didn't see it, because you in it. No, I saw it. You I saw it. I was in it. After the fact. You no, no, no. Hey, listen, listen, listen. We, I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit for you, dog. You had a baby by this woman, correct? Correct, correct. You so you saw it after the fact. No, I saw it during. Okay, so you fucked up from the beginning, then, right? No, I fucked up there in the middle, like not in the beginning, not towards the end, in the middle. Like, like I said earlier, when the honeymoon phase wears off and the person is comfortable with you, or he ain't going nowhere, he gonna stay with me for life. He ain't going nowhere. People show their ass. They do. They stop being disrespectful. Like, who the fuck you talking to? 
So she she never showed you anything, not just with you, but with other people in her surroundings that she could be disrespectful. I, I saw little little tidbits here and there. Yes, I did. I did see little things here and there. You thought it would never apply to you, correct? I correct, correct. Okay. What you got, Elam? Yeah, I caught on I caught on early on, man. Um I would say in middle school, like at the age of thirteen, I wouldn't put up with any little inkling of uh back talk. Like it's it's one thing it's one thing to say your side and it's another thing to be condescending, you know, the condescending tone and cursing and this, this and that and black ass nigga and all that, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I, I'm not having it, bro. I'm not having it. I, I don't I don't I don't tolerate it from my mom. I don't tolerate it from my sisters. Uh uh any woman, uh pretty much, or even a man, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't tolerate that disrespect. Like and, and no man should neither neither a woman you know what I'm saying like that crazy talk I don't I don't I don't deal with that man and I don't move in circles that that do that you know what I'm saying so you do have to catch it early on and whoever you leave behind leave behind even if it's your sister I got a twin sister though I don't even talk to a twin bro a literal twin I cut them off phone numbers all of that. You know what I'm saying? You have to be, you have to protect yourself and your family for the future. You don't want nonsense around you because it'll get you, unfortunately, sometimes it may get you hurt or killed, man. You shouldn't want that for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And and I wish all men would do that and catch that early on and move accordingly. Stay, Stay away from people like that. Just remove yourself from that crap. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's exactly why I joined the military, bro. Like, I was like, man, something got to be better than this, bro. Damn. Like, so I just left, man. Left everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm cordial, whatever. And it's it's whatever, man. You, you got you to gotta know when to leave. Just leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when to leave them alone. Whoever it is. Brother, sister, mama, daddy, aunt, uncle, cousin, friend, friend for 20-some years. You got to. It, it's like that, that story in the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah. If you look back, if you look back and you turn into a pillar of salt, bro, it it because it, it they literally will destroy you, bro. That's all I have. Miss Codes. Yeah, I appreciate having two married men appear today, and you know, men that have been married for a while and are happy in their marriages because men need to hear from you guys and how you chose your women. Because obviously they're doing it wrong. They're ignoring red flags. They ignore red flags and then blame it on all women. They're like, oh, well, you know what? All women do this. So I'm just going to accept it. And that's such a lie. It is such a lie. The stories men have told me that women have done to them. I don't care if it's scratching somebody's car, stalking, going through the phone, whatever it is. All women do not do it. And I'm a testament of that because I don't do any of that. I have no desire to. So you're just choosing wrong and blaming it on all women. And I think we're all tired of it. All of us, men and women alike, we're, we're just tired of it. And take accountability for your bad choices. Become better, choose better. That That's really where I'm at. But I love hearing the men talk. I like to sit back and listen. This is good. All right. And let me explain, Wolf Stacks and everybody, I wasn't always this way. I made mistakes, bro. That's why I'm trying to save y'all from them. You see what I'm saying? The thing is this, bro, like, the truth of the matter is, bro, we expect in women to adjust when they're not going to do it. They have no incentive to. None. Listen to what I'm saying. Y'all need to listen, bro. Did you hear what I said? Why, why do y'all think women will change the way they moving when they get all the benefits right now? The same way y'all be saying, why buy the milk? Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? That's what they doing to y'all. Boyfriend benefits got y'all spending the bag and shit, and y'all ain't she ain't even y'all wife just to get some pussy and shit. Then she treats you like that and ghost you, or you ghost her and you come back all because you want some pussy. And then y'all say every one of them is like that, but every one of those y'all keep dealing with. It'll be a whole setup. <laughs> 
when you should know that. And bushes. Listen, this this why I tell y'all, y'all don't y'all you, <laughs> y'all not moving like men, bro. If she's not with it, you shouldn't be dealing with her. There's no after the honeymoon stage when I get to know you. You're supposed to have them questions off bat when I sent you down at the table. When I got what y'all don't understand that 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 social contract of that first date and you paying is to save you time, effort, heartache, and money. See, but y'all, y'all, y'all requirements is for that first date. If I'm paying, I'm fucking. This is what dudes, this is what dudes tell me, bro. Not you, Will Stacks. I ain't, I ain't trying to shoot shots at nobody, right? No, no, no. We, we have discussion. I'm just, I'm just saying it because people take offense, and I just want to cover my bases, right? Hold up, Mike. I got you, bro. It's like, uh, this is what dudes is telling me, right? Y'all, y'all won't, y'all won't girls with no bodies, but they gotta fuck y'all within the first two dates, right? Y'all say she don't fuck with real dudes, so you go chase the bag, and then you get the bag, and that's the first thing you present to her as a man, right? Y'all got the the same way they got the game fucked up. Y'all got the game fucked up, but y'all keep fucking it up again. The same way they they don't understand the responsibilities with their bodies is the same way y'all don't understand understand y'all responsibilities with leadership. Right, y'all condone this shit. Y'all, y'all cheerlead it. Y'all thumb up it, and y'all like it, and y'all support it. Right? I can shout out to you, Sean. I can't control. I can't control what a woman does, but I can control what you do with me. Right? And if I'm, a, and this is what I keep telling you: if I'm a stand-up guy and I have standards, and I'm out here getting it the way I getting it, and I'm willing to provide a space for my woman. Why would I deal with a woman that I don't deem worth it? You deem her worth it, dog. You deem her worth it. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, just like I tell these women, if it's so bad out here, fellas, if it's so ugly and it can go so bad, so many different ways, why y'all ain't moving here? uh, Why y'all ain't out there moving like that? That means you know in your mind it's only it's only ten percent of the women you dealing with, so one out of ten might be decent. But nah, you think a dude going you think a dude gonna not fuck these bitches, dog? Right? Come on, man. What I was supposed to do? Stroke this thing off on my own, man. It's hoes out here, bro. I'm living. Hey, man. I'm out here in these streets, boy. Say that. Y'all liars. You niggas is liars too, bro. Y'all niggas some liars. Y'all don't want no good girls because a good girl gonna take your motherfucking ass some effort, dog. She ain't giving you up no pussy on the first date. Say that. Right? She ain't just fuck The shit she do, do y'all, y'all don't be along. The shit she does that she's supposed to do, y'all ain't along long enough to see, you know, when she cook and bring you to the house and fix you your plate with the hot macaroni and cheese and pot roast and gravy, right? Y'all don't get to that point. Or the girl, like I said, the girl that does do that, she don't look like the girl you want. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Y'all got the wrong one. I can, y'all can tell them lies to somebody else, bro. If you want a good girl, you can get one, but are you good enough? Are you a real one? Hey, here the, here the thing is, oh, nigga, you ain't got no hoes. You ain't got no hoes. You know, that type of talk. But those is Pookies, though. We ain't, listen, how many of us is friends with Pookie and Ray Ray? All right, cool. But I'll move out. He move. What I, all I've been trying to say is that good men Look for simplicity. Matter of fact, I'm gonna say this, right? Men, good men want loyalty, love, and respect from his woman. You know how many things come after those words, those three words? Love, loyalty, and respect. Now, if somebody shows you that in the beginning and they transfer from they transform from those three words that I just said, yes, it is your fault. You should be able to leave and cut ties. But like I said, when you got feelings invested with somebody, you like, damn. Yes, I can't even move on, but men, men, are, men are, are different than women. We attach ourselves to things that we shouldn't always do. I know hundreds of men that say I should, I should have been quit this job, but it got good benefits. I'm used to the, the routine. I got my friends that work here with me, so men will keep some going on for a routine. Most women don't like a routine. They want something different all the time. 
That's why they do different hairstyles, different makeups. Men like a routine. So, yeah, she a little headache sometimes, but I'm used to her. I'm used to that headache. Yeah, yeah. Get you a born woman. Get you a born right. woman. Don't, don't want to go to the club. I'm just being honest. We, we, we be honest here. Like, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, what you got, Mike? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Where you at right now, bro? You on the road? Yeah, I'm in Arizona. I'm on my way home. Be safe. Be safe, bro. Be safe. Thanks. All right. In New you York, I think I think what you're missing, man. Don't take the, no offense, man. I think you're missing having standards. You gotta have standards, and part of being a man is sometimes being alone until that right one come by. So that's where Ricky's saying, "But I got a smash though." No, you don't, bro. My mom told me in high school, man, protect your, your body. Your body's your temple. And she seen me getting females because I was on varsity a sophomore and I, you know what I mean? I was out there doing it. And she said, hey, protect your body. You don't want no, you don't want everybody that, to, to have you, right? So you got to have standards and the woman that you want in your life. Now, it's going to be lonely. It's going to be lonely. Trust me. But it's going to be worth it. And, and, I, and that's what Ricky's saying is we got to, not we, because I'm already cool. But men got to stop complaining and just having standards. But, Ricky, I, I, I'm going to say this to you, man. Mm -hmm. As people, we're very tribal. We're mm -hmm. supposed to be tribal. So I think a lot of a lot of guys out here are shaming, right, are, are, are just talking shit. But I think a lot of people are also talking so we don't just turn around and forget where we came from. I, I hear you, so, Mike. But you know what I say, right. we don't live in yesterday, right? Yeah. Right? And again, what people don't understand, if you continue to make your past your present, you will never get out of it. Mm -hmm. Right? What y'all got to understand is like, and it's going off, this going off on other stuff, right? Y'all buy the pain they put us in. Right? Y'all buy this shit in droves, bro. We need to stop doing that, bro. Tomorrow gonna get here whether you like it or not. We can't keep sitting in, oh shit, especially when it comes to your relationship. A lot of y'all, uh, not a lot of people, right? Y'all doing relationships for the last person. Because of the last person, y'all need to put them fucking bags down, bro. Fuck that old shit. You did it. Hopefully you learned from it. But if you keep repeating it to pass, then you never learn from the lesson. The, le the lesson going to keep repeating itself until you learn it, bro. Right. Right. In New York, how many kids do you have? You only have one or two. I knew this was coming. <laughs> I got I got five. So you five with the same one? No, I got four with the same one. We was married. We was married before. But we had a legal partnership by the courthouse. We was legally married. So all right. So this is what Balancing Coles is saying, man. She don't want to be looking at men complaining about shit when they ain't ready themselves. I'm not trying to offend you, man. I'm just not. But she's not trying to see all these men complaining and whatnot when they're not themselves. In a position to lead. So no, while you're it, complaining I, about the woman that you want, man, are you ready? Like Wiki, Ricky said, are you ready to get that woman that you need in your life? Are you ready? Because if God put in your lap and you fuck it up, that's on you. And and yeah. as, as I was young, an OG told me you're gonna meet maybe two girls in your lifetime that's gonna be good, just two. So you got to be ready for that one. If it is, if God happens to bless you again or bless you for the first time. Listen, being being that she's a lady, I have to I, I have to say this. Right. I hit I get what she's saying. She's tired of hearing men complain about the women they don't want and this, that and the third. But a lot of men are going through what I'm going through. They're wow. good men. No, no, wait. Sure. They're, they're good men. That protect and provide, and these, these men work sixteen hours. We don't all make ninety thousand, eighty thousand dollars a year. We don't all make that. So we coming home, not cheating, not doing nothing, not beating your ass. The bills is paid. We helping you put the kids in the bed at night, put them in the tub, giving them melatonin, putting a little lotion on their body, putting them in the bed. There's a lot of good men. Yes, I agree. I'm, saying, I'm one of those men. All I'm saying is that I don't have to say it to say it because you people can say I shit all day. The point is. When you know who you are and you know what you've done and you know you put all the the best quality herbs and spices into this plant to grow and it don't grow how it should grow, fuck it. Okay, that, and, listen, what I'm saying, 
I need y'all to listen because this this is what hey listen listen up. Did you hear what I said? Listen up, right? Uh, being a good man don't make you a good leader. Being a good man does not make they're two they're two different things. Right? Sometimes you gotta be cold, bro. Mm -hmm. Right? The more emotional she get, the colder you should be. Right? But this is this is what I tell y'all. It, it, it's not just about you doing it's about doing the right thing, but listen, it's also about doing the correct thing. Right? If you, you should be able to correct your woman. You should that everybody wants, oh, you can't, you're supposed to be able to discipline and that's supposed to be established from day one. Right? What y'all don't understand, y'all, uh, and this is what's crazy to me, right? Y'all say y'all understand the nature of the women, but y'all really don't. It, she's built to test your ass. He, Adam felt the first, the, the first shit test. Did you hear what I said? Adam <laughs> felt the first shit test. Right? You were supposed to maintain a position, right? And listen to what I'm saying, fellas. That don't mean you can't be loving to your woman. That's not what I'm saying, right? I'm saying when these times arise, bro, you got to be able to handle them with an iron fucking fist. Right? So, if you think if you think she testing you, she testing you. That's free game for y'all today. If you think she testing you, she testing you. Of course, but you gotta you gotta put, implement one thing in there. A leader, as a man, I can hear my bro say something to me, and if I don't like it, I don't follow. I'm not following shit. But the difference between men and women is, women can have five homegirls. You can't let that nigga talk to you like that, girl. Fuck all that. You ain't, you ain't he ain't your daddy. He ain't. Okay. So so I'm gonna say this right. Even if we've been broken up for three and a half almost. That's that's my last relationship. Talking to ten. So I don't just date women willy nilly. I, I'm I'm still healing myself, still you going through certain things. Right? So you hitting them though, right? Hmm. You hitting them though, right? You saw hitting what? You hitting them hoes? Of course, yeah. yeah when when it comes to stuff, yeah. Not saying like that, but okay. Go ahead and finish the story. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Ricky. <laughs> okay. I'm not, so I'm not giving nobody no slack. I keep telling y'all, bro. I'm not giving ladies, I'm not giving ain't none of y'all getting no slack. Y'all been coddled too long, bro. Yeah. You Come on with the story, hitting, bro. Okay, so what the our downfall, right? Three and a half, almost four years ago, was I was in a leadership role because I I made the most and contingent decisions on how our household is gonna be ran. But when there's people in her brain and in your brain, but that shit ain't clicking in your like y'all live, live in my house, the fuck you talking about. But in her mind. Yeah, girl. Even even our mama. He don't. He don't. This is your house. You don't get what bills he paying. What you paying for in here? I don't care if he pay buy y'all clothes, sneakers, pay all the bills. Right. Mind you, mind you. Living in New York, we got certain contingencies. Like if you living alone as a woman with kids, you pay next to no rent. So I said, okay, we're gonna be a family unit. I'm gonna pay all these bills, all the rent, oh, buy all the clothes. Yeah, I everything. remember this. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, 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 was on, we was on Anton a little yeah, while ago. Yeah, you fucked that all up. Yeah. No, I didn't fuck it up. You did. When when she heard when she heard that yo, mind you, she's struggling now. When she heard yo, it don't matter what he said, what he do, what he paid for in it. This your shit. Mm -hmm. She jumped out the whole goddamn window. Mm -hmm. You know what? I you know what you're supposed to do, man? You're supposed to take away from that type of environment. OG told me, don't ever have a kid in your girl's in your girl's parents' house. It wasn't his parents' house. It was her house, her apartment. We was in a shelter together. She got her, we was in a shelter together. Something happened. We got separated. She got her apartment. Got your, you should have yeah, got your own. Yeah. You should have got your own, man. You should have had your own. No, I could have always had my own. Why you don't understand. You? I don't, you might not understand how things Why? work in New York. This is what I, this I move that, that, that as a man, that as a man, if you want a better life, fucking move. You listen, you gotta understand something. At the time I was making eighty thousand dollars a year. I had two jobs, two good jobs at that. So I'm like, you know what? We go in the shelter, it'll be way cheaper. She get her apartment first. Let's let's try that. Let's see how that works out. She was on my program at that time. She was. I'm not gonna say she wasn't, she was. 
after a while, we was in the house like maybe three and a half, four years. Shit was cool. She was smooth. We had an argument one day. She had the phone with her mother. Who the fuck you think he talking to? When I say the mother came in the house, took the chain off the door, took my keys. You know, bitch, you don't even live here. What are you doing? You either, nigga. So you ain't let her <laughs> so, so. Okay, so the reason why the reason why you're in that <laughs> the reason why you're in that problem because you didn't vet the mama. You didn't no, vet the mama and see what the mama no, was like. No, 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 no. If Let he said the mom was disruptive, okay. right? Oh Mike, hold on, Mike. What you fucked up at was you had you was in her shit and not your shit. You the man. You provide a space for your woman, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you had to spend seventy five thousand of that eighty thousand, bro. You gave her a fucking excuse. Stop, stop giving y'all women and stop giving our women excuses, bro. That's what you did. You gave her a motherfucking excuse. This my shit. It's my name. His name ain't no. All I gotta do is call the sheriff. I can make it without him. Now maybe she found out that she couldn't. But why you even give her that goddamn daylight, nigga? But Ricky, Ricky, the fruit that that tree bear was bad. That that tree was already bad already. I don't care what it was. Shut up, that tree was already bad, Ricky. You laughing too hard over there. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm, I'm not we laughing at you, bills, bro. Let's pay some bills, man. <laughs> if I have to fight to be heard, oh, I've said that one already. Uh, I'm just going to say them again because I don't know which ones I said. If I have to fight to be heard like the road runner, meet me from out. Uh, BZ said, if you a leader, hit the like button. I think I read that one. Uh, he said, uh, Eugene, if a man wants to lead a relationship, he has to find a woman who wants to be led. This comes from careful vetting. If a woman does not want to be led, don't waste your time. Correct, sir. Eugene again, he said, how about all those boys who plant their seeds in women and run away? The boys uh, run away from their opportunities to be men and leave families. Facts. And then put those women out on the street for somebody else. Right? But these are same, the same dudes that say, I don't date baby mamas. Hear what I said. Y'all niggas are hilarious, bro. <laughs> like, Master Yozy, Ricky taking this topic, taking this topic is around. He constantly complains about what women should do. When is that? No gang whatsoever, just whining. Thank you. Thank you for your point, I guess. I appreciate it. It's like um, Mike said, basically saying the food on the menu is hot trash. Ricky, you know me personally. One out of ten is good if I jump back on the market. Facts. Right? We we looking for one, bro. We can't worry about the herd if we looking for one sheep, bro. We can't worry about the herd. My question is, is why are you still in the herd? That's why, that's why I say he got to be lonely. As a man, you have to be lonely sometimes. A lot of the times yeah. to find that right one. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's part of the not, being real. They're not used to a man telling them in this, this road that you're walking on is going to be lonely because, like you said, they grow up with their moms. Right. No excuses. Yeah. Listen, so, what's good? What you say? Two different things. You got to understand that. And I've been I've been by myself for the past three and a half years. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Like I said, I'm so searching, trying to find not myself. That sounds weird. I know myself. I'm 35. I know myself. I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. find the me that could be submittable for the woman in the outside world that I could find that's going to be what I need her to be. Man, you you be you, bro, but that should include leadership. You find a woman that conforms to you, not the other way around, my guy. You see what I'm saying? The thing is, like I said, you have to make you, the, the, the truth of the matter is a lot of men really don't understand or know what they want. You don't know what you want. You say you want this, but you don't want to pay the cost. Look, if you want to, if you if you want a brand new car, bro, you want to. I want to. I want to get a vet in the next couple of years. I know that a new vet once I, once I get it, gonna run me at least ninety thousand dollars, right? I understand when I walk in there, that's what you gotta pay, and this is what y'all don't understand. Y'all think y'all gonna get a good woman on discount? It don't happen like that. It don't happen like that, bro. The same way a, a woman get good, good a good woman getting you shouldn't she, a good woman know a good man. That's why she a good woman. Y'all niggas slow, bro. Y'all slow. That's why she a good woman because she understands a good man has certain requirements. Mm -hmm. She understands that My, a man I be with, uh, the, uh, he a good dude. He gonna want me to cook. He gonna want me to clean. He gonna want me to fuck him. You know, four out of five times a night. He gonna want me to do this. And if you don't, if she not saying she want to do that, she ain't a good woman. Why y'all wasting time with her? Because they got a fat ass, right? <laughs> Telling you what you want to hear on the first date, and you don't even take the time to figure out if that's what she about because she giving you pussy in a second on the second rip. 
And it's not even that. You take the pussy. And then you want to keep saying women, oh, women get emotion. Y'all niggas be getting caught up in pussy the same way chicks be getting caught up in dick, bro. Let's tell the truth tonight. Ain't nobody doing what the fuck they supposed to do. And then when I tell y'all what to do, oh, he old school. He don't know what the fuck he talking about and all this other shit. But it's funny how y'all keep the these the same people who keep telling me, oh, the game has changed. And I keep telling y'all the game don't change only the players. And y'all players is fucking up the game. Yeah, yeah. Get too, uh, get too much attention to women, ago. bro. Broken a long time ago. It's not what it used to be. The game is the same, y'all. No. It's is lame. Really, remember yeah, what you, it's, it's the, what you're, the queen said in the bottom. In the bottom, she said that it's if you're looking for why you look dabbling the 95 percent when there's still the 15 percent. That's that's good. Okay, so if there's 15 percent of good women, that's 105. No, no, no. What? Okay, okay. Maybe I used the wrong incorrect numbers. I apologize. <laughs> if you're in the 10 percent out of the 90. You know how hard it is to find 90 per 10 percent out of 90 out of 100? That's no, hard to find. It's, it's not no, hard. It's, e it's, it's easy. It's easy. Hey, it's New York, it's easy, easy because the 90 is going to show your hand off top. So then yeah. it's the easy target. Hold, right, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, brother. Please let me get my. I'm going to be real short, real short and sweet. Yep. If you were, if you were a owner of a company and 90 percent of people came in there and said, I'm a good worker, I come in on time, I do my job, I do this, I do that. But you only could find 10% out of that 90, out of the 100% that actually came and did what they said. That happens every single day. Yes, there's going to be a, people that come in here. You have a nice, luxurious company. You got shit going on, 401k plan, dental plan. Yes, everybody loves your company. They love it. It's dope. But there's going to be 10% that literally come in here and do what the fuck they said they're going to do. That's how life is in dating. That's easy. Okay, Ricky, let me get him. Right, mm -hmm. let me get you. Right. Uh -huh. So, because ninety percent is bad, you already know what to look for and what it sounds like whenever you see it. You can't think what a scarcity mindset. You got to think of a winning mindset, man. You're scarce right now. Ninety percent are bad, so they all going. So, so the ones that are ninety percent, they gonna show their hand off rip. The eyelashes, the weed, hey, can I the color. The period, the nails, the oh, I ain't following the directions. Okay, next. So when that ten percent come out, she's shining like a red ruby. Okay, let, let me act right on this one. Let me come correct. So you can't be thinking scarcity. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. E. And the thing too, the thing too, we definitely have to understand that nobody never told us. Uh, probably have told us. Uh, male role models or fathers or whatever they probably told y'all but at the same time when you find when you when you find a, a good woman or, uh, well not a good one but when you find a woman or a wife i should say when you find a wife she's not gonna be uh all the way completely made you still have to teach so in or, it, it, a, a real leader you still know that you have to teach mm -hmm. how to put her on your page you have to mold her in, and integrate her into your into your life you have to put her you for you first men we don't most men don't know how valuable they are we literally built everything that you see in the world we literally built it including this internet right here. who laid the cables for us to be on this right now you know what i'm saying who built the towers the cell towers who who who, who built the car who built the phone that's in your hand or the computer our men built all of that crap man and and first of all, you need you got to be able to uh, dig and go on the ground and get the materials to make it. Ain't nobody, ain't no females mining that stuff, zinc and magnesium and all that crap. But anyway, anyway, enough of the nerdy stuff. But yeah, man, on on, on another tip. Yeah, That's women, not, women, women want to be black men. Are man. Now I said that's cool, bro. Black men are smart too. That ain't nerdy. That's being intelligent. You know what? You know the materials of how to make certain things. Ain't nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a network. I'm a network engineer, bro. Uh, and I, I, I've been for almost ten years now. Well, now nah, I did it in the army too, Navy and Army. Uh, but bro, it's the thing is that men have to understand. If you get a career, you it, it's sometimes it's gonna be boring and shit. But it is light at the end of the tunnel, bro. It's just like running two miles and and, and you run it in thirty minutes. 
it's gonna be boring as shit to run it in, in in 13 minutes. You know what I'm saying? When you get to the end of that tunnel and you finally pass your run on your push-ups and sit-ups, you gotta start somewhere. And it's gonna be boring as shit, dog. Yep. It's gonna be boring. To get to get to the top. Sometimes it's gonna be boring. You can't go out on weekends. You gotta sacrifice your time and money to invest in yourself to make more money. You got to have a skill or a trade or a degree that somebody is willing to pay for. And most men don't want to do that. They don't want to spend the boring time that it takes to get that money, to get the bag, because it's boring and it's nerdy and it's lame and it's blah, blah, blah. But I grew up in the projects and I can code switch. And I, 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 got the, I got the ghetto side, I got the project side, and I have the masculine man corporate side as well. But it's just that it's just that I, I I leave that that side alone. Like I try to like get keep that out of the, out of my life. I, I do keep it out of my life. I should say. Is, is that what you really believe? Is is what's that? Is that what you really believe? Statistics show only thirty percent of black men don't work. Thirty percent. At fifteen, there's all together. There's there's forty five million black people, women and men together. Only 30% of us don't have a job or homeless don't work. So we do work. Black men do work. We just don't go to school to get degrees. That is true. But most of us do have a job and we work. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. We, yeah, yeah, 64% of us is in the middle class or upper middle class. That's good. I, I understand that. I know that. But at the same time, what I'm, what I'm saying, not but, I should say, uh, at the same time, I think that it's the, the type of money that, most men want to make and most black men want to make they don't know how boring and how tedious and the, the the repetitiveness of getting that job the tedious work and the long hours it takes you know what i mean it, it takes sometimes some days when i was working for the air force i was a contractor for the air force some days i wouldn't man i would be there for 22 hours bro Wrap it so up. That, that's all. I, that's all I gotta say. It's wrapped up. It's wrapped up. <laughs> Trucker, yeah. What's good, bro? <laughs> oh, how you doing, man? I'm good, boss. How you how doing? How y'all doing, panel? All right, I'm what fine. you got, bro? Just coming back from Mexico. Welcome back. Um, no, nah, I just, I just want to show some, uh, some support and love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh what, what's your name? The New York dude. Oh, well, um, Stacks. Just call me Stacks for short. Stacks. Hey, bro. Um, what? You had your girl in the shelter? Yes. I had the money to get my own place. Yes, I did. But I wanted to, to have a place. Well, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, hey, let, let, let's not let's not run this dude, man. We said what we said to him. He he made his he made oh. he made his mistakes today, right? Let's move past that. Okay. My question yeah, is, bro, is do men really want to lead? Hello. To be to be all the way one thousand, I'm gonna say no. Okay, could you could you please elaborate why you why you believe that? They say it, but they, you know, they actually speak louder than words. So it's like, dude, just say it like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go get the money and I'm going to do what I need to do. I don't give a fuck how boring the job is. If it's to secure my family and all this other shit, then I'm cool with that. But every dude ain't built like that, sadly. So, I mean, that's just my point. And I see it every day. Dudes want to sit on the couch. I tell them to go get a CDL which is the easiest way to make some quick money. And the first thing they always run back to is I, I want to be at home, you know, watching my kids. And that's cool and all, but when it comes to taking care of your kids, I mean, you know, dudes just don't want to make that sacrifice. That's just, that's how I see it. Okay. So, Evan Moore, uh, let me read these super chats again. I want to address this, what Evan Moore said, y'all. Uh, BZ, he said, dudes want to lead until they see the cost of leadership. Ladies, that's how you separate the men from the boys. Hey, hey stay on their head. We, we on the job, BZ. You know what it is. Uh, the voices said, you were cooking last week. Those good times. <laughs> Florida didn't work, but Walona did, bro. In the projects, never had a job. Just saying. 
<laughs> Clement Gray said, my two leadership starts from within for any man. Can't worry about whether a woman wants to follow me. I still must lead. Dedicated to my children. Salute, Ricky. Just showing respect. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. John Yo, what's good? He said, you hear what I'm saying? Keep on keeping on, sir. Thank you. We got you, man. Okay, so to address this, what my... uh. Ah, uh, did I lose? I'm gonna be mad at myself if I lost it. I lost it. God dang it. Anyway, he said that uh trying to address what Wolfstack said about on average, right? And he said it's it's more difficult when you average. So you want an above average woman? As far as what goes, financial or like personality? No, I'm talking this this ain't directed to you, this directed to everybody, right? So well, the average guy is hard to find a, a woman, an average woman or a above average woman. Because a lot of you niggas is average. I'm average. I understand you believe you exceptional, right? Again, I'll tell y'all, y'all ego a motherfucker, bro. Black people got some of the worst egos. Like y'all, <laughs> like to say I'm sorry or ask somebody for help, don't let, hey, bro. Why is an average woman not good enough for y'all? You're an average dude making average money doing average things. It's, do y'all understand? And this is what I'm going to tell y'all about. Look, bro, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't be, get mad at y'all when y'all talk about the bag. The bag. I understand. We got to eat. Y'all need to listen when I, you got to eat. We all get bills to pay. We got a rent and mortgage to make. Gas is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You order DoorDash, you out of 50 bucks off, off gate for two people. You know, I understand, bro. Right? I understand. But look at Kanye. A billionaire and couldn't move a goddamn penny. Couldn't move a penny. What I see is that we all slaves under this thing. Some just got more pool than others. That's all it is. What does money have to do with you? What does money have to do with you being a leader? What does money have to do with you being a man? I understand it might not ever happen in my lifetime, but what what type of man are you if didn't if no money didn't exist? Can you still and get it? Can you stop a man from running up in your household? Can you protect your woman at the street? If we was, you know, like everybody saying, oh, it's just a competition out here. They can all take your girl. Can you stop somebody from beating your ass and taking your girl, bro, and your kids? Right? We need to get back to the core of being men. Men, that's respect. That's honor moving amongst each other, bro. That's also honoring our women. Not all other women, your woman. We, there's nothing wrong with being average. I understand everybody want to be big call, big ball and shot call, but that's not the facts. I understand everybody is rich on YouTube, but that's not the facts. The truth of the matter is, damn near every single one of us, once we get off this shit, gonna go lay down, get our ass up, and if you got, I ain't gotta work on the weekends, but if you did have to work on the weekends, you gonna get <laughs> your ass up and take your ass to work and chase this dollar just like everybody else. So again, bruh, what's wrong with an average, uh, a round away girl that look cute that move like she got some sense. But no, y'all out here thumb up, thumb, up, thumb, up, thumb up the asses, these Instagram chicks and these fucking TikTok bitches and shit. Damn it, they, they not for you, bro. And if you want them, you're going to get the problems that come with them. Right. The same way these women act like they don't want to understand that if you get a dude that got seven figures and he six five and slinging twelve inches of dicks and got swag, you ain't gonna be the only one. So what's the problem, gentlemen, ladies? Y'all all all y'all eyes bigger than y'all fucking stomach. That's the problem. Y'all out here chasing what y'all want, but don't, don't want to get what you need. 
Oh, y'all too good for everybody. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all go ahead, man. Nah, like, like I said, I learned most of my ways of looking at women from my dad. My dad's one of the most simplest cats I know. Like, he just like a good woman that's, she, some, when it's time to chill out and relax, that's what she doing. She ain't being loud and boisterous and she, yo, you gonna stop playing? Like, no. So, like I said, I learned the most of my, my venting and not, not venting, vetting of women from my, from my father. I done met when they wasn't together no more and my dad, dad was dating, my mom was dating. I met who she was. I met who my dad was with. Like, he like women that are quiet and like they chill to themselves because my dad's quiet and chill to himself. But my mom, like, she like niggas that's like niggas. Like, goofy, loud. Yo, you gonna stop playing with me, girl. I'm gonna boot your ass. Like, why you like that? So I realized as a man that likes what my, a lot of things my dad likes in a woman, I just want peace. I don't want to work 16 hours a day, take my book bag off and take my uniform off and come home to some bullshit. I like quiet and peace. Just respect me and our house and our kids and respect respect what we got going on here. Like I said, but that also takes a person to be an adult. As an adult, you're not going to always like this medicine, but it's good for you. Eat it. Drink it. Take the pill. It's good for you. I'm used to living in New York. I say it's so many women that they don't like the medicine, but they want the cure. They want to find a man that makes this amount of money. He's singing wood. He's doing this. He's doing that. Fuck about his personality. They think about that shit last. Hey, is, there, is, is there is there a chance of you getting back with, with her, or is she married, man? Hell no. I, would you would you would you would you want to go find the bee that stung you? Hell no. <laughs> Keep that over there. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, has she changed? Oh, no, she actually got worse. Like I say, when somebody is inside the, a person's head with yeah. certain women, yeah. they tell them, "Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm give you. I'm gonna give you something real small, short and sweet, right? She likes. She's yeah. young. She's thirty. I'm thirty five. Mm -hmm. But I met her. She was twenty one, turned twenty two. Her friends, who they used to be back then, she has a whole new set of friends. They like going out on girls trips, doing this, doing that. She was not doing that when I met her. I swear. I swear to my life. I swear to God. And I hate swearing to God, but. People yeah. sometimes change. And when you find that they yeah. change from you, you leave. Fuck it. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to stink. Okay. okay. Be okay. Big Hank, what's happening, bro? Oh. Hank, what's up? <laughs> Yo, he what's up? Getting, How you bro. doing, Hank? He begins to swap with the Peep Network. <laughs> what you what's, got what's on Shit, I'm, I'm just enjoying the moment, baby. I'm just here <laughs> to enjoy the moment. Rick, you know how I come up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, so whenever you let the men on, normally do you don't let the hard ankles on. It's all to the foot. Asking Hank, bro, like, do men want to lead, bro? Like, to me, it's it's, a, it's no. I think they just shooting lip service at this point, bro. Do men want to lead? Want to complain, bro? Uh, they, they, you know, you know, Ricky. When I I, I kept asking people to ask, trying to answer the question, no, they don't because they they scared. They fear the fa the failure that could come with it. Mm -hmm. To me, that's what that's probably the biggest the downfall of them. They fear the failure. They scared that they scared to they scared to fail. But dog, you you never be successful if you don't if you don't deal with failure. You're gonna take some L's. You're going to. As a man, you, you take an L every day. You don't realize it sometimes. You're gonna have to take some L's. But hey, guess what? Enjoy the victories. Because when you win, you're gonna end up end up winning big. Like you said, when you get that, when you meet that right woman, hopefully you went big with it. Now, unfortunately, I took an L. I failed my marriage. I took an L. But guess what? It's not going to stop me from going back out there trying again. I promise you that. I'm going to get married again. I'm going to get back in the, in, in, that, in that fraternity uh, that I that I failed in. I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna rejoin that fraternity. You know, that's one of the greatest fraternities in the world, man. The, the fraternity of being married. Rick, I'm, I'm trying to be like you, baby. I'm trying to get back again. Can, uh, can I submit my application? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Hey, he can take it out ladies. <laughs> man, look here, man. Real it, time, that's probably the it, best it, advice I heard all day. Right there. The failure what's, part. What's that, Trucker, yeah? No, I was saying that was probably the best advice I heard all day. Um, the failure part. I didn't really think about it like that, but that is actually true. And, and, and that's what a lot of men scared of as far as the leadership part of it. 
They can do it. Most men can do it. But they're worried about the failure part. They worry about the embarrassment, how it's going to make them look. Your ego is so big that you're worried about how it's going to make you look if you're not successful in whatever you decide to do, whatever you decide to be a leader at, in, whether it's being a parent or a husband or a supervisor, a manager, a CEO, whatever the case, or even opening your own business. You're scared. Most of the people mm -hmm. are just scared to fail. You, you can't be. You can't, like like Rick said, you can't live out fair. You can't. And I, 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 was, I was afraid to get married again. But I had to get some therapy to get through that shit. Because at the end of the day, you know, is it, a, it was a scary thing to go through divorce. Yes, it was. It's, yes, it was. Because not only it affected me, it affected my son. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I had to get past that. Because at the end of the day, I, I want to be in that fraternity again. And I, and I am the leader that I need to be at. And, and, and they had to remind me that, hey, you are that leader what you need to be at. You just failed. You just gotta hey, can I add, keep it going. Can I add something? Can I add something real quick? Yeah, yeah. And, Go and, ahead, bro. And, and you know what? You, you gotta ask Rick. Oh, Rick, can I add something real quick? No, Ooh. no, Hink, finish your thought. Right on. Uh, no problem. But man, look at look at guys. As far hey, as hey. Being leaders, be the leaders that you need to be. Be the leaders that you need to be for your sons. Because if you're not, we're gonna create a bunch of uh, lackluster dudes. We're going to continue to breed a bunch of lackluster dudes, and it's never going to change. And if that's what's going to happen as a black community, we ain't going to never have a chance to try to conquer the world together. If we create a bunch of lackluster dudes, because if the father's going to be lackluster, your son's going to be a lackluster dude, and his son's going to be a lackluster dude. We ain't got a goddamn chance. And I don't, I don't believe in creating lackluster dudes. My son's not one. I ain't one. And even my dad be that father wasn't one. He just wasn't a leader when it came to being a parent. But that's another story, though. I'm, I'm done, Rick. There you go, Liam. Yeah, and uh, to caveat on what he was saying is that, man, dude, like he, he man, I, I agree a thousand percent, bro. I, I agree a thousand percent. And, and to be honest, man, it was all of, all of the, you know, the, the dudes I was with from the South, I'm from the South, but all of us getting together and, and, and making notes like being in the military, like and going to lift weights and all of that, just to realize how important I was. I didn't know I was as important. And, and you know what I mean? And, and and we 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 have to know how important we are. And women are important too. You know what I'm saying? You have to. But on 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 that flip side, the men we have to. You have to be physically strong, mentally tough, physically mentally tough, man, and proficient, and and more than proficient in anything you do. You have to. Uh, again, the big, the biggest thing I think. This is just me. Y'all can take it at, at, at a grain of salt. The, the truth of the matter is, to me personally, us as men, we give our women too many ways out. We give them too many excuses, right? And that's what y'all don't understand as men, right? If you're correct in the way you move, bro, all the blame falls on her. I know people, Rick. Why you want to put? This is what it's about, right? If you, the reason why y'all give women so many outs is because y'all know y'all not on point. What I said. This is just a fact. Right? Because if you were on point as a man, you would take no motherfucking excuses, not one. That's not saying you wouldn't give chances because sometimes you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know what you don't know. Right. But you wouldn't stop allowing y'all women these excuses to even to try to pull leverage on you. Stop giving them that shit. Right. Again, I'm going to use you, for example, we'll stack my apologies. Right. You said even it was all good just a week ago, but you don't hear me, though. Right. You gave her the opportunity. You gave her the excuse to be able to say his name not on the lease. You gave her that opportunity. Right. And no matter what you think, no matter how you look at it, bro, that opened up the entire door to a bunch of bullshit you went through. Because she had that light of excuse. She had a crack of light to be able to use something to leverage over you. Well, if you'd have took it from her, it wouldn't be nothing, nothing to happen with. Now, that's not saying some something else wouldn't be bad shit. Who the hell knows? You see what I'm saying? But with that one. That's what happened. And that's what a lot of our men do. That's what the majority of the men do, because, again, you don't want to pay the cost to be the boss. You either thinking with your dick or thinking with your wallet. 
I paid a cost, bro. It don't matter if it costs me. That that's a lesson I paid for. And what y'all don't understand in that same in the same way that gives you power is the same way it gives her a place to be a woman. Y'all don't hear me, bro. Did you hear what I said? Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't even understand, bro. What she got to complain when you handling everything? What's the complaint? Because if it is, then you know what? Get you, hey. Hey, the door worked. But y'all don't understand this as men. Y'all don't understand it because you never had the example set for you. No, that's that's not all of us. Some of us have had an example and we Stop figured taking, out. Stop taking it we, personal, bro. Stop taking no, 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 I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in general, in general, right? As a man, have my, have my own place in my own crib now. Yes, I had my crib for a little while now. I'm just saying, even if things went different and she lived with me, her and my at the time, my only one child lived with me, right? If a person is looking for imperfections and something to go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. That's what you we gotta be honest about something. A lot of our women do have good men. Every man ain't out here cheating, fucking with hoes. That's like 20% of men. Not every man out here slinging. No, like I said earlier, men love a routine. You come home to your lady and you chilling with your kids and y'all in the house. You cool with that? Watching the football game. She cook. You cook. Y'all watch. This is y'all. A lot of us are cool with the normality of in south house life. But a person that's always looking for something to be wrong is eventually going to leave. Right. The person you chose. Right. Yes. Okay, thank you. But they not that way. At, like I said, everybody show the man. You, you stop making excuses, God. Stop making excuses. That person is what they is. You chose them. That person was what they was. You chose them. So you telling me just because one day because her mama said something, she always thought that way? No. What I'm saying is hearing some over and over and over again, Sometimes people, people that's weak minded, they have whatever so you tell them eventually. A weak minded female. No, what I'm saying is that they that wasn't always the case. And when somebody is told something long enough, depending on how strong their psyche is, they're gonna go with what they heard or what they believe that you're saying okay. is true. So so why you weren't telling her something long enough then? Why you wasn't? I wasn't talking. I was showing, I was showing who I, I was as a man. Not, I I because actions speak louder than words. And what you telling me is that words spoke louder than your actions. Listen, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this. I'm gonna say this, right? And and this is I'm I'm saying this for all men. Any man in the chat, any man in the box. We are all men, even even the queen in, in the bottom of the box. If I'm lying, I'm flying. When as a man, you're being instructive, you're being constructive. Listen, this is our base. This is our motto. We got to go with this. And someone outside of y'all is telling your lady, you don't have to do what he say. You don't got to do this. You In the beginning, yes, they might do that. But the more and more you put, you try to construct this person to be the proper person, they, they, the wife she should be, the woman she should be. They got outside entities, they friends, mamas, aunties, whoever it could be, co-workers. Why are you doing what he telling you to do? You don't have to do that. You your own person. So you've been following me all these years and somebody, you got a couple conversations in your brain, you change your whole dynamic. It happens. I've seen it happen with men. You don't got to work this job, bro. Go put that job and go, go get some go get some credit cards and start scamming. It's quicker money. People that are weak-minded follow what sounds strongest to them. They so, follow what's easy. No, I, I, I asked the question. That too, that too. Listen to what I'm saying. Y'all, bruh, was you dicking your girl, bro? Yeah. Was you paying the bills, bro? Yes, I was. And you was taking care of the household, right? Yes, I was. So why is it that someone outside of her can influence her more than you? Because, like I said, if a person says, 
I don't. Yes, he's paying all the bills. The kids got new clothes, fresh niggas. I'm, I'm fresh. I got my nails done, hair done, everything. Did she fancy? You not, not answering. No, no, I'm answering the question right now, Mister Ricky. Question directly. I ask you a direct question. Please answer the question. Okay. The direct answer is: If I'm doing all these things, but someone makes her believe that she can do these things on her own, financially stable or not, she's going to go with that. Simple as that. And I said that four or five times already. Don't you think she was already like that when you first met her? You just didn't see it. You looked over the red flag. No, I said that. I said there was one red flag. I did say that. I saw one time where things didn't go right, and I, I rock with it anyway. But oh, I no, it was more than one red flag, dog. It was more than one more. One, come on. I was in your shoes, dog. So you was more than one red flag. Yeah, what's that? Why did you say something to the mother? Why didn't you have a conversation with the mother? We had too many conversations. We don't even get along. No, but I'm saying when you started, when the first time that she started getting your your your, your lady's ear, you should have had that conversation right then and there. Right then and there. Let me let me let me say this. And I, I hate to can't nobody tell my wife shit about me. Can't nobody tell my wife shit. Her, nobody. Her daddy, her mama, nobody. Right? I chose her, dog. You chose her. No matter what you said, no matter what went on in the situation, bro, you chose her. And like I said, you gave her light to be disrespectful and be able to say out something out her mouth or have her mama say something out her mouth about you. You gave her that light. You don't want to admit it. But you gave it to her, because if you was a real, if you, and I'm not gonna say a real man, I'm gonna say if you was a a more mature man at that time about your shit, you would have told her, "Hey, I'm making 80k, no problem. I got the house. What? Hey, you go pick out the furniture, right? You need to take the excuses away. You need to take the excuses away." You gave her an excuse. No matter what you keep saying, G, you gave her the excuse. And she's going to test you. They're built to test you. I'm sorry. It's what it is, bro. It's what it is. And it shouldn't be a problem for you as a man to make your point proven. The same way, if you test her as your woman, it shouldn't be no problem. Oh, you pregnant? I want a DNA test. Okay, cool. It's your baby. Ain't no excuses in this shit. But y'all, this, this is what y'all consider relationships. No, we both, both of us is here for a benefit. And what you saying is, is that if I just keep, if the only thing I'm bringing benefits and she ain't got no fucking skin in the game, then they just going to do whatever the fuck ever. Facts. Facts. Cause she ain't got no motherfucking skin in the game. Hey, Ricky, let me let me say something real fast. Did did you have a plan, my man? Did you have a plan? What's that? And what 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 was your plan for for you and your lady? Yeah, the plan, and the plan okay. worked really well. Okay, did 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 she know your plan? Yes, she knew my plan. And she should have been a recite at your plan to her mother and let her know this is what we're doing. I, I know what you think you're seeing, but it's not what it is. Me and him has this plan, and we're gonna implement this plan, and we're gonna we're gonna work this plan out to the best of our abilities. Mama, I appreciate your 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 input. I appreciate your opinion, but that's all it is. You're not needed. We're a circle. Nobody gets involved in our circle, and that's how it's gotta be, dog. That's how it should have been. Now, unfortunately, it's not like that anymore because it sounds like you're no longer with her. Cool. Be the best father you can be for your, your child. Be the, do the best you can as far as co-parenting with that child. That's, that's Right now, that's all you Unless you feel like you can get back with her and reconcile. No, I definitely do the co-parenting. But Hank, let me, let me ask you a question. Like I said, I'm, I always ask the question to all men watching, all men in the boxes. 
has no one never been with a female that everything was clicking on all 10 cylinders everything was rocking everything was rocking and rolling you leave the household you got your plan inactive everything's going the way it should go i notice even as a man when you're doing the best things possible shit don't always go right i notice i know that for a fact Okay. Men have men, not all men, but a lot of men have a plan in life. Yo, I'm gonna get this money, stack my paper, get me a car, get me a house, rent an apartment, whatever we gotta do to be okay, to be in the green, not the red in the green. So sometimes you bring a woman along with your plan and she'll be riding along with it for a little while, but there's women in this life that we're gonna meet that are not always gonna wanna stay in your plan. If you the head ant, the king ant, and you riding the ants riding behind you, the ants riding along, sometimes they're gonna be a couple ants that fall off. They're gonna fall in the water, they're gonna get ate by a bird. It's nothing you could do about it. I've accepted that. I said, I, I know Elam, I know. I'm just saying, I've accepted that. I was raised by great men, great male leaders that led me to like, I'm not gonna cheat on women, I'm not gonna put my hands on, I'm not gonna see every woman I see. I was led by great men. I was partly raised in the church, but like I said, as a good man with a plan, sometimes people are not going to want to follow your plan. So, uh, like I said, being going to fail a lot, dog, and, and, and that sounds like what you just explained was a, some failures, but it happens. Right? Mike Tyson said, man, everybody got a plan until you get hit in the face. Thanks. And you got to make some adjustments. That's what you got to do. And sometimes you got to do it on the fly. Get what I'm saying? You said going to build this plane as we fly, but we're going to build it. Don't let that shit stop you just because if she's not on your plan, then she wasn't the one for you anyway. If she wasn't yeah. on your plan, she wasn't the one. I don't care how, how good of her head she gives, how big her tail is, or how pretty she looks. She, sometimes you just not, she's just not the one. And so you got to move on. You adjust and you adapt and you move on and you vet and you find that right one that's really going to be on your plan. So once they get on your plan, hey man, y'all a hell of a team. You a hell of a team. Well, Stacks, um, I was in your shoes, dog, and I did everything I was supposed to do. And I fuck, I even gave up a house. You feel me? She didn't follow. I, I it was a failure. Moved on. Met my lady at the worst time of my life, and it was up, man. I met my lady. I mean, you can't keep on linking on, linking on that, on that excuse, bro. He's gonna have to take accountability, just yeah. like I did, man. Everybody, does. that's the point. You know, you want to, you want to progress. Start off with the accountability first, man. Otherwise, like Ricky said, you gonna, you gonna stay stagnant and regress. You ain't gonna never move nowhere. I, I got another thing too. Let me, let me read this super chat real quick. Oh. Uh, Andre Dale said, "No, nah, Wolf, if it was more than one, bro." It, it, it was more than one, bro, but that box just distorted your vision. No excuses, homie. If you don't ex accept it, Wolf, you'll repeat this. I think you mean accept it. Wolf, you'll repeat that. So go ahead, E. The thing is, too, man, I mean, I, I've done it in the past. Mm. Is is This is the biggest thing that gets – it doesn't affect us as much, but when we, like, in our early stages, when we young and stuff, you know what I'm saying – we we smash or whatever, but you start to smash, 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 and you just it you making soul ties to people, huh? You, you see what I'm saying? You making soul ties, and then it kind of it kind of messes with your judgment of in, in women, like from sleeping with multiple women, like just like like it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? It it kind of it it kind of messes with a man. Some men can't take it. Some men can, and some men can't. You know what I'm saying, and 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 God don't sleep neither. You know what I'm saying, God don't sleep on that. So you kind of you gotta have some some D discipline, dog. God, dog. That's, you know what I'm saying, like that yeah, is. You gotta have. I teach that shit to my boys every day. And I'm teaching that to my boys right now. And they 13 and 15. You know what I'm saying. Even though they're young, I, I I hope I hope they still virgins. That's what I hope. But shit, it's so accessible, and these my they just be throwing it around and. Dress a whatever, man. That, that's all I got though on that on that piece. Okay, okay. So let's let's do because we about solutions. We about you know helping people out over here. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, let's start with Trucker because he came in last. Then I'm going to go to balancing and then we'll work our way around. What do you think is the solution, Trucker, yeah, for men to get where they need to be? Right. Because the women going to be there. Right. The women's going to be there. They're going to do what they do. They're going to move how they move. Right. Where do you mean? What do we have to do for men to get where they need to be, bro? Oh, he dipped out. Hink. <laughs> what we got to do for men to get where to, to get where they need to be, bro? Oh, man, just admit, man, we we not perfect, and there's nothing wrong with with. with, with... Sorry about that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with taking L's every once in a while because you're going to do it as part of life. Uh. But make sure you have some people in your corner that you can definitely rely on. Uh, uh, somebody who, who will hold you accountable. Don't not 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 some yes man, but some dudes gonna be honest with you, gonna be real with you. It might be somebody in your family, could be your brother, could be a cousin, maybe your father. Hopefully, hopefully it's your father. That would to me would be your first choice. But if that's not the case, maybe his brother or uncle or something. But uh, find a, a, a fellow man, an older man, a more wise man more experienced man who, who's lived some life, even if, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it didn't always work for the best one. You can learn from anybody. Even a fool could teach you something. So definitely, man, find somebody uh, that's going to hold you accountable, challenge you, uh, and, and at the same time, but encourage you. If if you know you got a lot of trauma going on in life, get some therapy. Don't, don't be too above. I think you're too good for it. Doesn't make you less of a man if you had to go get therapy. It, it just makes you uh, a man who's aware of what's going on with the, within himself. Because if you're going to go and get your blood pressure checked, why don't you get your mind checked? Because people go through some things, regardless. Uh, when you find that right woman, do right by her. And I promise you, she'll do right by you if you find that right woman. Now, if you find just a bunch of hoes, you better leave them hoes at the goddamn restaurant. Mm -hmm. They don't mean you no good. And you know how I do, Rick. I got a lot of them hoes. I don't have nothing to do with them. Right. But uh, find your right woman, do do right by, should do right by you. But also not do right by, put a ring on her finger. Bless her with your last name if she de if you deem her worthy enough. But make sure you bet and find that right one. So, Miss Coles, what do you think from a female perspective? I love sitting here listening to the men give advice because it's a beautiful thing. And I hope the men take heed because this is really a lot of good advice that was given today. Um, from a woman's standpoint, I think men need to take accountability and don't ignore red flags, right? We can look at women and say they're, they're so beautiful and their bodies this and everything, but you can't neglect the character and integrity and the respect that she gives you. You can't neglect those things. And I think so many men, they ignore these red flags and they're choosing women based on physical things and superficial things, and then they get upset when it falls apart. So you have to be honest with yourself and choose a, a woman based off of her character, integrity, and if you can lead her. I mean, you have to take that responsibility as a man. We want to be led and we want you to lead and know how to lead. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, if it's between a decision that needs to be made between what I say and what you say, and we're on different pages, I need you to be the leader and make the decision. And whatever you say goes, if you lead us down, I mean, that's on you. But you have to take that responsibility and take that role. And I think a lot of men, they, they're they not stepping into it, but, but you have to, you have to, especially if you're claiming that you want this this family that you desire and the woman that you desire, then you have, you have to play that position. And when things go wrong, it, it's your fault, period, it is. And you have to take, you have to own it. You have to own it. And those are the men that we respect. We don't want yes men. We don't want men that just, they do whatever we tell them. We don't want that. We want men to lead and we want to follow. So you have to play that position, play that role. And yeah, be responsible. That's, <laughs> that's all I can really say. Thanks for having me. Though. What do you think, Wolf? What's the first step, bro? Um... Real short and sweet. Uh, the first step is just basically as a man, just waiting. If you're dating a female, you feel you want to make her your, your primary girlfriend and you want to build things with her, just, just wait. Just wait it out because you got to see those red, those red flags. And they might not come on the first day. They might not come in the first month. Just wait them out. 
And if you see those the red flags ain't they not coming as rapidly, they're not coming as often, you feel she's the one, then make her something serious. Just be careful who you date and who you stick in your joint. That's what I could possibly say. Mr. Lamb, what's going down? What you get? Um I would say, man, just make sure the woman likes you first, man. And if she don't return a phone call or a text, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Hey, for real. She got to be into you more than you are into her. But you got to catch that. You got to catch that, though. But you got to, you got to. I'm just trying to tell homeboy how to how to vet a woman. You know what I'm saying? She she definitely has to like you more than you like her. I know that for a fact. You know what I'm saying? But shoot for the stars and you'll land on the cloud, bro. But at the same time, you got to have dick discipline, dog. You can't just be slanging everywhere, bro. Because women talk. Well, people talk. That's it. Okay. Uh, I'm going a, I'm to a tell y'all the truth, man, because y'all just mm, mm, mm. Oh, I got I got I got I can bring no, some no, no, you cool, you cool, you cool. all right all right all right, all right. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> look bro rule number one bro raise your children because the truth is, if we being honest, y'all ain't going to stop fucking with these hoes, bro. Y'all not. Y'all can't. Y'all addicted to stick it. Y'all can't help it. Right? And I would say to y'all, you know, what I've been telling y'all, you know, if you are shooting up in a chick, make sure she's the type of woman that you would want a wife or at a minimum have your children. But we know that's not going to happen. I'm a realist. Right? So, at a minimum... You guys need to raise your children. And I say that because y'all see the women that are raising y'all children. Y'all see the woman that y'all dealing with, that y'all shooting up in, right? That y'all hate six or seven years after y'all break up that ain't had your babies, right? Right? Y'all see this. And I told y'all at the beginning of this, because you're not there as a man to give them the, the alpha, the omega, the yin, the yang, the black and white. Your me, our young men are lost. The women, the, the young ladies don't understand what love is or affection is or how to really love a man or what things to look for in a man. Y'all not going to stop fucking. This is evident. It's, 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 it, this is obvious. It's evident. But y'all are failing your children. The same way y'all say about our generation failed their children. Y'all doing the same thing. But like I said, instead of uh, instead of us not, you know, daddy's not being there. Yeah, y'all there, but y'all substitute raising for Yeezys. Y'all substitute instructions for iPads and iPhones. And Apple Watches. Glorilla. Right? What's the one movie White Men Can't Jump? He said, you'd rather look good instead of making the shot. Is that what Billy Ho said? We'd yeah. rather look good instead of winning the game. <laughs> right? Now, what I would love everyone to do to fix this problem again is stop sleeping with women you have no intention of being with. Stop having sex with a woman you know does not have wifely qualities, but she has a fat ass or she gave it up in the club that night because you was in VIP or whatever. But we know that's not going to stop. Our men are the products of single mothers that we point out on these these platforms as being broken, irresponsible, irrational, and overly emotional. They're, our sons are raised by them.
Our sons are raised by them. And then our daughters are raised by those very same women. They become carbon copies of them for the next generation. So if men want to be leaders, that's the first place we need to start. The first place we need to start. And we must do this at all times, whether the relationship with this, your, your mother's father, you with your, with your, with your child's mother is uncomfortable, dysfunctional. That has nothing to do with your children. Nothing. Did you shut your, see, that's what I'm talking about. Look, where is it at? Look, I hope you're joking. I hope you're joking. I am. Y'all will block you quicker than you can blink your eyes. I don't think you said that. Right? Man, we've got to set a standard. We have got to set a standard. The woman is not, she is not required to, nor will she do it. Why would she? Y'all really need to think on that one. Why would she, bro? Why would she? Chris Davis, you must have missed last week, but that's a different conversation. Malcolm, what you got? Yo, hello. Yeah, what you got, bro? I know, I was just piggybacking what you said, uh, like about how men should stop, you know, like just picking all these ancient women and stuff like that. Um, Basically, yeah, that's it. Like, I'll just agree with what you said. Okay. That's all you got? Yeah. You have any other questions, bro? We we here to talk. Uh, let me see. Uh, I forgot. I, it was a question I was going to ask you, but... Nah, that, nah that's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, I bro. might come back. You said what? I said, that's okay, bro. Yeah, um, I, I might come back and ask if it come back to my mind, but yeah. Okay. Well, oh, thanks for thanks for coming up, bro. For sure, for sure. Thank you. Peace, bro. Bye. Okay. Uh, Adonis said, uh, "1909. I'm 35. No kids. I set my turns. Discipline, bro. Right. Um, that's all I got tonight, y'all. Y'all got anything before we close out? I'm gonna shut this thing down." Anyone, anyone? Mr. Ricky, I appreciate you, King. Thank you. I appreciate you, bro. You ain't, you don't have to tell us shit, bro, but you do. So I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. And Corey, so I know you're in the work. Too much. I'm sorry. I know you was waiting. To, I feel like she was waiting so patiently to talk. I'm patient. I was going to say that just like, you know, we could say in America, it's, it's not easy to make six figures. Everybody's not doing that, right? It's not easy to get in shape. Most Americans are out of shape. Relationships aren't that easy either. So you're going to have to work on it. Just like you work to make six figures, just like you work to have the best body. You're going to have to work for a relationship too. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, if you want those above average results, you got to put in the work that's above average. So that was to you specifically, Stacks, but it's to everyone. So I just wanted to add that. Thanks for having me, though. All right. I appreciate you, Balancing Codes. Make sure y'all follow Balancing Codes on Instagram and YouTube. Hank, what you got, bro, before we swing out of here, big dog? Man, I, black man, protect yourself at all times, man. Protect yourself at all times. Do what you got to do. Go see a therapist. Go get on somebody's couch. Get on somebody's Zoom meeting. Go get your blood work checked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, heart disease, diabetes is the biggest killer of one black man. Do what you got to do. Make sure your A1C is in order. You, you more a mature black man, please go get your colonoscopies. Go get your prostate check. It's got to happen. So that's, that's it. For, that's all I got, Rick. All right, man. Liam, let him know what's up, bro. Hey, man. Definitely. Hey, man. Man. Oh, go ahead. Was that for me, Rick? I'm sorry. No, I was saying for Liam. For Liam to go ahead and finish his point. 
Oh no, happy holidays. Thank you for having me, man. And uh yeah, discipline all the way around and spin multiple plates as much as you can handle. Thanks, bro. So with that being said, I'm about to kick y'all out. Y'all know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank y'all so much for coming through. Right way, you're going to get kicked out. You're about to get kicked out again, right way. We're shutting it down, bro. My apologies. All right. yeah, have a great one, bro. All right, man. With that being said, man, we got another one. Shout out to y'all in the chat, man. I appreciate all the input, man. It's for y'all, man. But like I said, man, no disrespect to nobody, bro. I just think it's time we... uh we got look bro the the thing i'm looking at is this right we we got to stop giving them excuses let's take it they saying they want us to take it off their plate right this is what we keep hearing right let's take it off their plate and see what happens y'all see what i'm saying Adonis said i'm not planting in a, i'm not planting in a rotting field protect yourself fellas and please please get your focus up when you hold out they find it a challenge if you put together let's st- let's set the standard for our kids facts bro Right. And this is what I'm saying, y'all. We got to take the we got to take these excuses away from them. Right. Call it what y'all want. Call them backing them into a corner. Call them, you know, checking the queen on a board, whatever y'all want to call it, bro. Let's we, we got to stop giving them the excuses. Right. Let's see how they act. When they don't have any excuses. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Let's be the men we that we we let's be the men that we say we are and see what they say then. Right? Because at that point it's real easy. It's real easy at that point, y'all. Right? The time the time for excuses is over, bro. It's time for results. Right? And we can't continue trying to force them or shame them or hold them to a position that they not even looking to get into, bro. We're going to have to force them into it. Right. And this is what I'm saying, right? The puzzle pieces that's supposed to fit will fit. Did you- the puzzle pieces that are supposed to fit will fit. And the pieces of the puzzles, that's the throwaways that came in a box that's extra. Those go in the trash. But we got to do what we supposed to do first. We're men. So with that being said, shout out to y'all. Please, please, please hit the like button. Share the share the content. If this is something you guys think that would you think that somebody else can learn from or find valuable, whether that's your nephews, your nieces, your sons, your daughters, your 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 mother, your father, whoever, bro, brothers and sisters, please share the content. Right. With that being said, y'all know how we do. Y'all made it through another week. You're still here to complain. All right. You're still here to complain. So let's celebrate that. It's the holidays. The one thing I'm going to say, y'all, don't be out here spending y'all money on stuff. Don't work all year, right? Don't work all year to get on top of bills to go in debt for one day. Right. And with that being said, man, take care of yourself first, just like Hink said, because without you, none of this, st- none, none of this stuff happens. Right. Once you do that, take care of your family, man, because who's going to feed you your jello when you get older? And I like jello. And with that being said, I guarantee y'all, if y'all do the majority of them things, I can almost guarantee y'all, man, that everything else Take care of yourself. It's your boy. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. And we gone. Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. Stay dangerous.
Shout out to AD. For that wonderful thing to the military. God, I love you, boo-boo. Appreciate you and everything you do. Appreciate it. Love you. See you at a lot. We know what it is. <laughs> John Gates, chill out, bro. <laughs>